3D printing is no longer a futuristic pipe dream. This week, we investigate how 3D printing is well on its way to become a multi-billion dollar industry offering solid business opportunities in the South African market. I have Bruce Bradford. He's the Group Business Unit Manager at Rectron South Africa, a company that supplies 3D printers to the South African market. He now joins us to tell us more. Uh, Bruce, thanks for your time. Firstly, this is fascinating to me. What is a 3D printer, what does it do? And you're supplying the South African market to do what exactly? Thanks, Jimmy. A 3D printer is really, uh, uh, it manufactures objects. So it differs from a normal printer, which prints uh, obviously words onto paper. This manufactures objects, but it differentiates, it differs from the normal production environment or factory environment because you can have this in your home. You can have this in the study at home, you can have it in your dining room, or you can have it in your office. Okay. And uh, really what it does or how it works is it, it converts an object, a file, into thousands of, of horizontal slices. And it prints one slice at a time, a thickness of about 0.1 millimeters, depending on what unit you've got. And it slowly builds that up, taking a process maybe over several hours. Yeah. And it builds up until you've got a finished object. And the great advantage of this is the individual can use it. Okay, we're not relying on a whole supply chain to manufacture something. Um, it's relatively low cost to manufacture things. It's very quick to print them. And also what you can do because of this process where we're building from the ground up, you can actually manufacture objects which have got moving parts mm. and which don't need assembly. So for example, um, this spanner here is, is built in one go. And these balls here are all printed in one go, which, which uh, have no assembly at all. So it's a really unique type of production. Bruce, how have businesses benefited from having this? I mean, they, they buy it from you, they, they manufacture or print uh, these different objects uh, in terms of costs? Well, the real big advantage for many businesses, especially those businesses which are involved in design, is what we call real-time prototyping. So normally, if you want to design an object, your time to market is, is very long. You'll design an object, you'll send, send it off for prototypes to be made, and maybe it'll take several months and, and a couple of hundred thousand rand to get that back and before you're ready to go to market. Now you can design something, print it yourself, be ready in an afternoon or the next day, ready to, to go ahead and go to market and get approval and, and proceed to, to volume uh, manufacturing. An entry level printer, how much would this set me back? So this type of unit here would cost about, um, excluding VAT, would be about 15,000, 15 and a half thousand rand retail. Mm -hmm. And that goes up to our, our top end units, which go for about 70,000 rand, excluding VAT. Um, but then that's more for a commercial type environment as well. What's the appetite been like in South Africa? There's been huge demand. You know, we look at various uh, different market segments and particularly in education, there's a huge demand in education. And interestingly enough, in the United States, we've just come back from, from MakerBot in the States and that's their biggest single market is education there. Um, and then we look at engineering and architecture, basically anyone that's designing things, um, small businesses that are, are innovating, that are designing new things, that are trying to bring new things to market, hobbyists, people that are moving more from almost do it yourself to make it yourself at home. So the, the boundaries are, the possibilities are, are really limitless. Let's talk about the possibilities. I've seen on TV at some time there'd be uh, printing organs. I'm not sure if this does this very same thing, but is that something that's already uh, in the market or are we working towards printing organs with this type of machine? Well, not with this type of unit, but interestingly enough, we've got uh, on the table there that red and black uh, robo hand. So that was designed, that was an early prototype by a South African who lost his fingers in an industrial accident. And he designed this robo hand with the help of uh, some, uh, some other people overseas. And they sent the plans backwards and forwards. So interesting, the, the person overseas can design it and then he can print it out at home in South Africa. And then he can send some changes back and the guy overseas can make some changes and go backwards and forwards without courier costs and trying transport and all sorts of things. And they then designed this for medical use and which has been widely accepted throughout the world. Uh, another example, uh, uh, relatively recently in Cape Town, they did a, a jaw transplant with uh, 3D printing. So we're not going to do that with this level of unit, but, but uh, definitely the medical field is, is, is ripe for development in this uh, sector. How long do, do objects like this uh, take to print? So I see in there you've got a CNBC Africa logo that we will hold up proudly, <laughs> but how long would it take to make something like this? So that took me about five hours to print, mm -hmm. and, and something like this might take typically take about eight hours because because of the height and the size, and it's really just based on the size of the object. Mm. So here we can see we've got a fairly uh, small build plate, about 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters, and it goes up to about 30 centimeter by 30 centimeter build plate if you want to build something really, really big like that. 
So if I decide I've got 15,000 Rand for entry level machine like this, does it come with training? How does it work? It comes with, a, with a, what we call an ecosystem, a full environment of software around it, um, which is the MakerBot software, the desktop software. There's Thingiverse, which is a website where you can literally download 600, 500, 600,000 free designs for, for printing. You can just search what category you're looking for, whether it's industrial or, or hobby or, or home use or whatever type of thing. Um, and, uh, and it comes with the whole, and it comes with training, so we can supply training on that and installation, whatever is required for whatever type of user is, uh, what their requirement is. Mm. Well, my requirement, I'll probably be making uh, little tomatoes all over the place. Thank you so much. That was Bruce Bradford. He's the Group Business Unit Manager at Rectron South Africa.